Hey guys, so today I am filming my third update for my Project Use It Up 2015 and Project 50 Pan. I will have my playlist linked up here so you can see my intro and my first two updates to see all the products that I chose and what items I have been able to finish up. So because I know myself so well, I am very aware that I do procrastinate. So in order to actually be successful at this project, I decided to do little seasonal challenges along the way to give myself a specific time period to use up some of these items and that has been working out really well for me. I did participate in the finished 4 by 4th of July challenge. I will have my playlist linked up here and I was very successful. I finished all four items so that was a great way to start off with my very first seasonal challenge. I am currently doing the finished 5 by fall challenge that went around last year but I decided that I wanted to do it again this year while I had my mojo going of using products up so I will have that linked up here as well so I chose some more difficult items for that challenge and it is definitely a challenge there are some things that I'm not sure if I'll finish in time but regardless it is really exciting to try to finish them up so please check out this playlist if you would like to see more project panning videos I also wanted to mention that I have a video sharing with you guys my top five tips for anybody that is participating in a seasonal makeup challenge I will link that video up here for you guys and those tips have been really really helpful for for me and I hope that they will also be helpful for you. So now just getting into the main point of this video, I'm sorry for the long intro, but I had a lot of different things to mention. So in the past two months, I was able to finish up two more items for my project use it up 2015, which is pretty exciting. The first one feels like such a huge accomplishment because this has taken me forever to finish. This is the Milani brow and eye highlight in the shade number two matte cream luminous lift. And I was only focusing on the matte side, which you can see is completely finished. And then on the other side is the shimmer. So I have used the shimmer side maybe three times. So this is the amount of product that I had in the matte shade that is completely finished up. So very excited about this. I love the formula very pigmented creamy and easy to blend out the perfect matte brow bone highlight shades for all skin tones the matte cream is pink be perfect for fair skin tones the matte yellow shade would be perfect for medium skin tones and the matte peach would be perfect for deep skin tones absolutely love this product and I definitely will repurchase it and would recommend it the other item that I finished up is another Revlon lip butter. If you guys watched my last update, I finished Strawberry Shortcake, which was the very first lipstick I ever finished. So now I can say I finished up two lipsticks in my lifetime. And this is the shade Peach Parfait. As you can see, because of the slant of the tube, I'm unable to get out all the product. What we have right here is just a plastic lip. And this was a really pretty peachy shade with some golden shimmer very similar to NARS Orgasm. I did not like this shade because of the shimmer. This used to be one of my Holy Grail lip products, but it was one of my first lip products that I ever purchased. So because I've tried out so many more since then, my taste has definitely changed. And this shimmer can be very irritating if you apply this multiple times throughout the day like I did. The color was pretty. It was a nice light medium wash of color. Revlon lip butters are perfect for anybody that just wants a sheer wash on their lips. Also a great lip product for anybody that is still in school. I think that the Revlon lip butters are nice, but I'm not going to be repurchasing them. They don't last very long and this this is definitely my least favorite because of that shimmer. So now I'm going to show you the progress I made on all of my Project Use It Up items that I have left. So the first one is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade Candy Coral. I did not use this one time over the past two months. This is a blush that I really only use in the spring summertime as a base for powder blushes or on its own. So I haven't used this at all. So this one has not been very successful in this challenge so far and I'm probably not going to use it anymore for the rest of the year because it is not going to match my fall and winter blushes. My next item is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This was in my project in combination with my Milani Brown Eye Highlight. I thought I was going to go through this a lot quicker and then move on to this one. I am now moved on to this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This is meant to be an eye base. It is a stark matte white. I love the color of it, but because it is so, so pigmented, I only use a tiny bit. I honestly think that this chunk right here 
could last me six months because I'm hardly ever going to need to sharpen it. You need the tiniest amount or else it'll look really intense. This is only going to be a good brow bone highlight for people that are as fair as me. Otherwise, way too intense. It's better as an eye base, but for me, it creases too much. So I am enjoying this. I haven't made any progress yet because I just started using it, but I will update you on my progress and my next update. Next, I have my two Maybelline color tattoos. And the first one I have here is Bad to the Bronze. This is one of the items in my Finish 5 by Fall Challenge. And I'm doing pretty well. And I am hopeful that I can finish this by the end of the year, but I'm not quite sure. This has lasted me way longer than I thought it would. I don't know how people successfully finish these up in a short amount of time, but I love this color. It is a taupey bronze, which is so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my lids today. I've been wearing it basically every single day this summer. So definitely love this. I'm making my way through it and I'm pretty sure that I would repurchase that. My other Maybelline color tattoo is Tough as Taupe, which is a matte concrete shade. Did not use this once over the past two months. I've really just been focusing on that bad to the bronze. Please let me know how you guys wear this one. I used to wear it in my crease all the time, but I feel like if I did it now, it would be way too dark and intense looking. I used to wear my eye makeup really, really intense in college, and I find that not to be as work appropriate. My next item is my Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in the shade in the nude. So this is all of the product that I have left, just a little tiny nubbin. And as you can see, I have made pretty considerable progress and pretty consistent. So I only have a little bit left. I definitely think that this will be finished up by my next update in October. The last four items I have are all lip products and I haven't touched any of them because the past two months I was focusing on the Revlon Lip Butter and Peach Parfait, but I will run through them and show them to you guys anyway. My first lip product is the Revlon Lip Butter and Berry Smoothly. Definitely my favorite shade of the lip butters and I'm really excited to wear this in the winter time. My second lip product is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Primrose, which is a really pretty blue tone pink, a wearable version of MAC Snob. I love the cream formula, and this is a lip product that I really like to wear in the springtime. My third lip product is a Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons in the shade Exposed. I'm gonna be wearing this a ton this fall. I absolutely love the color of this, and the formula is really, really comfortable. My last lip product is the Buxom Big and Healthy Lip Gloss in the shade Sandy. I have finished up about half of this and I really wear this mostly in conjunction with the Tarte. So these are two lip products I'm going to try to wear this fall. We'll see how far I get with them. So that is all the progress that I have made over the past two months for my items in my Project Use It Up 2015. I will have another update in October and I will have my finale in December. So only four months left. So we will see how much I can get finished up from the items I have left. So now moving on to my Project 50 pan items. I was able to finish up 10 items in the past two months. I finished five in June and five in July and two of those items were the two for my Project Use It Up that I already mentioned. So I am very happy to report that after these 10 items, I have been able to finish up 42 items. Now I'm only trying to finish up 50 by the end of the year and it is mid-August and I've already finished up 42, so I'm definitely excited and I know that I'll be able to finish up 50 items. So I'm pretty sure that once I finish up 50, I'm gonna keep going and see if I can finish more. Right now, I'm including the items that I've completed for my Project Use It Up 2015, but if I am able to use up a ton more items, I think I'm gonna have them separate and see if I can use up 50 items, not including the empties from my product Use It Up. So I just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys, see what you think about that. And now I'm going to give you guys my little mini review of the other eight items that I finished up the past two months. So instead of breaking up my Project 50 Pan items by what I used each month, I broke them up by category and I have two under eye setting powders, two face powders, two eye products, and two lip balms. So first I wanna start with my under eye setting powders. The first one I finished is the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. And here's what this looks like. As you can see, it's a pretty shallow pan, so it does not take that long to finish this. This is a great 
drugstore alternative to the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder pressed. This performs even better than the NARS. I know that for like 95% of people, the NARS had this film layer on the top that you had to like dig through to get to the product. You do not have to do that with this. This is good from the jump. So I love this. I did repurchase it. What I love about this is that you need just the tiniest amount to set your under eyes, which is perfect. I am someone that really needs to make sure my makeup is set. So I definitely pack on the powder but I don't need to when I use this product. This would be great for all skin types to use to set under their eyes. It gives a little bit of luminosity, but not really any shimmer or shine, just a nice glow. My second under eye setting powder is the Sony Kashuk Loose Brightening Powder, which is a drugstore alternative to the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder loose and this performs really really well I love using this to set my under eyes it does have the same effect very finely milled it does give a nice glow without looking too shimmery or shiny you don't need too much to set under the eye so I love both of these to set my under eyes I love that these are dupes for a high-end powder because the NARS are very very expensive these are two items that I would consider to be holy grail under eye setting powders and I would recommend and repurchase both of them so then I finished up two face powders. I am going to start with my NYX Day Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade number two, Nude. So as you can see, this is completely finished up. And Nude is a color that really only works for me in the summertime or if my foundation is too light. It has a great yellow undertone, but it is a little bit too dark for me. And I usually love to wear the shade number one, Ivory. Unfortunately, Ivory is a shade that is only available online. It is something that I cannot purchase from Ulta. NYX carries maybe 10 or 12 shades in this powder and I think Ulta carries five or six so that's a really big bummer but this is my holy grail favorite face powder this does give some nice coverage if you do swatch the powder it has a little bit of luminosity to it in the swatch but when you apply it on your face it does not look glowy or dewy you do look matte but not flat and cakey it's an incredible powder I absolutely love this I would repurchase it and recommend it like I said it is holy grail to me but I much prefer the shade one ivory over over to nude because it matches me most of the year. So because I am unable to get my NYX powder in my correct shade, I have discovered the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade number 100 translucent, which is not actually translucent shade. It is very fair with a yellow undertone. As you can see, this pan is not very deep either. So that's a bummer. I go through powder every two or three months, but I love this. It gives some nice coverage and it does help keep me matte. The color is perfect for me. So I absolutely love both of these powders and I would consider these both holy grails of mine. I would recommend and repurchase them. So next I finish up two eye products. The first one was a Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Whiskey, which is a neutral leaning warm tone brown. This started off as a deluxe sample size, which is about half the size of their full size liners, which is still a pretty good amount. So the Urban Decay 24-7 liners are not my favorite. I love that they come in a great variety of colors. I love that they are very smooth and pigmented, but they just do not last on me. I I have to set them with an eyeshadow to make sure that they don't smear and smudge and they don't last in my waterline whatsoever so I would not repurchase any of the Urban Decay liners if you don't have a problem with liners smearing or smudging on you I would check them out because they come in a ton of great colors but a great drugstore alternative to the Urban Decay 24 7 liners would be the NYX slide on glide on liners which come in a lot of different colors and have a similar formula my second eye product empty is a sample of the Mac zoom fast black lash mascara which looks like this and not impressive it is a natural bristle brush that has a little bit of a cone shape to it this did nothing for my eyelashes no length no volume all it did was make them a little bit more black I would not recommend or repurchase this there are so many more drugstore mascaras that really outperform this one so then I finished up two lip balms the first was the EOS sweet mint lip balm I love this. This is my holy grail lip balm because the texture is not too thick, not too thin. I also love the sweet mint scent. This lasts a pretty long time on my lips, which I love. So definitely would repurchase and recommend this lip balm. So the second lip balm I finished was the Maybelline Baby Lips in the Peppermint scent. And I have completely used it up. Right here is just plastic. It's not actual product. And 
I do not like the baby lips whatsoever. These are way too thin. They last on my lips for like three minutes. And because they're so thin, it makes my lips feel even more chapped. So I mentioned in a video that I might repurchase this so I can see if this would work over top of a liquid lipsticks because the EOS does not. The texture is way too thick and it breaks up liquid lipsticks. And I said that I might repurchase it to try this over top of liquid lipsticks because it is much more of a thin texture. And one of you lovely ladies suggested to me that I should just try to dig some out of this particular one that I've already finished up to see if it works so I won't waste my money in case it doesn't. That was a genius idea. I don't know why I never thought of that. I still have not tried it yet, but I'm definitely going to. So I'm not going to throw this one away until I've tried that out. So guys, that was my third update for my Project Use It Up 2015 and my Project 50 pan. I would love to know if you guys are doing one of these as well. And like I mentioned, I will have my fourth update in October and my finale in December. So I'm very excited that I decided to do this project. I'm really, really happy that I am using up items in my collection and because because I'm actually filming it and saving the items, it makes me way more excited and dedicated and inspired to actually finish things up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.